Little fox. The Little Mermaid, Chapter Two. The youngest sea princess. Each princess has her own small garden. One princess made her flower bed in the shape of a whale. Another princess made her garden in the shape of a shell. The sister filled their garden with odd things they had found in the sunken ship. The, but the little mermaid's garden was simple. It has only red flowers and a statue of a human boy. The statue has been her mother's, and the little mermaid loved it. While her sisters played in their garden, the little mermaid sat quietly in hers, looking at the boy. She wondered about humans and the world above. What is it like in the upper world? She asked her grandmother one day. Oh, little one, there is so much to see, said the wise mermaid. There are big forests of trees that turn color when the air turns cold. Soon after, their leaves fall to the ground. Then the snow comes. Snow? said the little mermaid. What's that? Snow is made of thousands of small ice flakes, replied her grandmother. In winter, these flakes fall from the sky. But in summer, green grass covers the ground, and the flowers give off a lovely scent. It sounds wonderful, the little mermaid said. Here, our trees always look the same, and flowers have no smell at all. The wise mermaid told her more. In the upper world, you can look up in the sky and clearly see the sun moon and stars and birds fly from the tree to tree singing lovely songs tell me about the animals grandmother the little mermaid begged some fly as i said but many have four legs and walk on the ground humans walk on two legs and they are very good at building things they make lots of houses, which become towns. The little mermaid wanted to hear more. They also build ships, don't they? Oh yes, little one, her grandmother said. But you already know that. I know, but I love to hear about humans. They come so close to us, sailing above. But they would seem so far away. Yes, humans are very different from us, said her grandmother. They don't live as long as sea folk. We live for 300 years, but humans have souls. What is a soul? The little mermaid asked. I don't know, little one, the wise mermaid replied. I have a soul. I heard the soul can live forever, but humans don't really know that the soul is either whatever it is. I think it must be something special. I want to know everything about humans. When you are 15 years old, you will see, said her grandmother. You swim to the surface and watch the ship sail by. But I want to go now, the little mermaid beat it. Be patient, your turn will come in five years, said her grandmother smiling. But you will find, dear, that our home down here is better than any place else. The years passed and the little mermaid's sister went to the upper world, but she had to wait. So on clear nights, she looked up at the moon and stars. Whenever a shadow swept across them, she knew it a ship passing overhead. Eagerly, the little mermaid shed her white arms up toward the bottom of the ship. 
Someday she would touch the world above.